So this is a Sims 4 save file called Windbrook. And I know you're all going to come at me, Satch, why didn't you link to it in your bio and ram a rat? Firstly, okay, stop. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to see the comments. I know I'm going to get 100 comments. Satch, why is it not in the bio? <laughs> YouTube have changed their rules lately about links in bios. And if the system detects it as spam, even if it's not spam, you get like some kind of strike on your channel, which is literally severe. Like it's one of the most severe things that can happen to your channel. And they've just randomly implemented this rule a couple of months ago. And it's really annoying so I can't link to anything. So to hopefully avoid you yelling at me, <laughs> it's called Winbrook Save 2.0. If you Google it or write, you'll find it. It'll probably be the first link. Right, I'm visiting this lot right down here because it's three lots in one. Also, with the new Sims 4 4 rent pack coming out soon, hopefully you'll be able to actually convert these three into like separate houses but on the same lot. It says items removed. Actually, I have every, literally every single pack so I don't know why it's saying that. So, okay, I feel like this is one of those ones oh my god it's like that last one i did with the i think it was the portuguese or brazilian one it was the brazilian one basically with the tool mod you can basically move objects off a lot and place them into the open world so even if you can't build on the open world there's a mod that lets you do it in a roundabout way which lets you add like pylons and it makes the world look so much more alive like this does oh my god this looks amazing like with the trees and crap like that i love it the actual houses why don't we put like antennas on our sims house Houses, satellite dishes. What pack does it come with? Strangerville. Why are we not doing these on our houses? Like it's so normal and realistic. Why are we not doing it? They've also got little letter boxes at the front. They haven't got the boring Willow Creek ones. It actually looks so realistic. Like even like the back garden, like with the gate that leads up to it, I could honestly never. Like how are they doing this? I love it. Now these three lots are empty on the inside. I actually quite like that because it means that you can like build in it, but they've got the fitted kitchen and it's got a fitted bar bathroom which in real life if you bought somewhere okay it would have a fitted kitchen and it would have fitted bathroom but it would have nothing else so like this is like a true starter home lot I see home there are three homes it's like a true okay when the for rent pack comes out you could buy this convert into three lots and do it that way that is so cool here we have a little part gosh there are a lot of trees like global warming doesn't exist here <laughs> I feel like I'm drowning in photosynthesis so here we've got a little park it's like yeah it's like literally just just like a little neighborhood park. I really miss open worlds. Like if you lived here, you wouldn't even be able to go here. Like you have to go through a loading screen, but it's cute. Is this like a little, what is this? It's like a little storage room. Oh, we've got vending machines. See, that's cute. I love it. I'm not going to go inside every single property here, but you can see they all have a similar vibe. Some of them have households in them already, which is cool. I want to go to quick stop corner. What's a quick stop corner? I want to know what we have in a quick stop for a quickie. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me having a quickie at Quip Stop Corner, I'm telling you now. Have some respect for yourself, gentlemen. Yes, I'm calling out the grind gaze. You know who you are. So this is like an American gar gar garage convenience store. What is this? Is it? Okay, it's a convenience store. Oh my god, this actually looks like really realistic. It looks a little bit like the Lawson's and the 7-Elevens and the family marts I went to in Japan. For culture efforts, we have nothing like this in the UK, nothing like this in like any European countries. Oh look, it's full of like loads of debug stuff. I feel like you could probably turn this into a retail lot if you won't get to work. Look at this, they've used like glass doors to make it look like the fridges. That's really clever. So I really think, okay, if you won't get to work, like you could sell something in here. Do you know what I mean? You could make it up a little bit. It's also got like a, a restaurant. Oh, you can turn it into like a restaurant with dine out if you wanted to, because it's got the chef station. That's really cool. Genuinely love that. So this one is actually a retail lot. What we selling up in here? We got tons of flowers, plant pots, garden gnomes. Oh, it's like a, a garden centre. Oh, I love that. And it's got the flower arranging table as well. That's really cool. This is really pretty. I think this is great. See, I wish in The Sims 4 in a weird way, build mode and buy mode didn't exist. So you'd actually have to go to shops to get little things like this. I think it'd be a better way. I love that we got cars. Okay, obviously cars aren't really in The Sims 4, I know. But we've got debug cars. This one here is a laundromat. Why don't we have laundromats in The Sims 4? In The Sims 3, they were an official lot type, a laundromat, but not in The Sims 4. So, oh my God, it's literally got like loads of washing machines and it, li it literally looks like a trashy laundromat. Like it's actually realistic. That is honestly really cool. See, I really wish The Sims 4 laundry day stuff because it was its entire own pack. I wish it came with like a dry cleaning, like lot type. Do you know what I mean? But this is the next best thing. I'm sure you can do your laundry in community 
two lots as well. So it doesn't make a difference. I love it. We've even got like little vending machines and things in here. And I love like, we've got like the trashy bit. Do you know what I mean? Like this, what this debug thing, honestly, I need to start using debug. I just can't deal with it, but there's a lot here. So this right here is a diner. Do you know what my dream when I go to America finally, when I can be bothered, my dream is to go to a trashy diner and have a strawberry milkshake and like a fry up or like waffles or something. So this is our trashy American diner. No offense, please don't cancel me for calling it trashy, but it is like a cultural thing and I love it. It literally looks like so like 1980s. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got that beige look about it. And I like, okay, because this specific lot is huge and there is an empty building here, but like it's totally empty and it's just decoration. I feel like that's a good thing to do when you've got such a big build, like just focus on a little part of it. What pack is this newsstand from? Where am I finding all of this? It won't even show me. It's probably because it's a debug thing. It's really cool. We've also got a recreation center here as well. If you were in the growing together pack, there's so honestly so much detail, even just like from the top. So, oh my Lord, this is literally huge. Where the hell do we start? There's so much, there's like a proper full on like a gym in here. We've got, oh my God, not the cupcake machine. <laughs> we'll ignore this room. We got, it's, it looks really like old school. Like it does look like Willow Creek. Like it's not been updated for a while. Like it's quite outdated. And I like that aesthetic because I think it fits the Willow Creek world. And then upstairs, we've got like a full on music classroom. This is amazing. We've got a full on, uh, oh my God, this looks amazing. This looks real. Like this looks, reminds me of like when I was in school. That's actually really clever. They've even, look, okay, because with this whole thing, with this being able to edit outside of the lot, is this new? I feel like this wasn't here before. Forgive me if I'm wrong, like this whole thing. Like were these, do you know what I mean? Like were these plant pots here before? I feel like they weren't. Like I feel like these were added with the tool mod. I mean, I don't know. Could be chatting absolute shit. <laughs> Who knows? What the hell is that prosperity credit union? What's a credit union? Do we unite in our poor credit scores? Like what's going on here? See, I really wish The Sims 4 like had this as like a functional place, like in its base game. I love the realism. Being able to go here and get like a loan or something. Do you know what I mean? It's cute. I think it's a good way to use up lots as well, to be honest. But I, do you know what? I feel like no Sims 4 world, no Sims 4 safe file will ever be good without an open world. Oh my God, this is huge. This is huge. What the hell is this? This is like an entire, okay, guys. Guys, this, I love this. Okay, this is an entire housing estate. As you can see, all of these buildings are literally black and empty inside. There is nothing zilch. How have they made it like pure black? Do you know what I mean? Like you can't even see inside of it. If I click back on that, why is that so black? How have they filled that black? Oh, so they've used the platform tool, I believe, to raise the flooring right to the top. So it's like non-enterable. I think I messed something up because the doors, the doors disappeared. Oops, Stacey, there we go. This is how they've made them basically non-usable blocks, which is fine, by the way. It's a great way to use up this big space because like this lot is huge. You can literally just fill it with one singular household. This is such like a genius idea. Every single lot in Newcrest has been done. I'm going over to this little retail street. So this is an absolutely like enormous shopping district. So, okay, you see the building on the left and this middle one here is empty, which is fine. Again, I like the idea. This here is a furniture store. Okay, it's probably like a like a charity shop kind of thing. I mean, a, a thrift thrift store, thrift store. Like it, it looks like so outdated and I love it. I like it's such a vibe. We've got all sorts of like old shabby furniture in here. This is really cool. And then upstairs, we've got a bit more too. So this one, this store here downstairs, this is, what is this? Is this another charity, uh, another thrift store? We've got like candles, bicycles. This is actually really cute. Oh, we've even got changing rooms up in here. So we got another lot here. Here, this is a gym lot. See, they've done the same thing again where they've made like empty lots. I'm gonna start doing this because it feels like, genuinely, it feels like a really good idea because so many lots in The Sims 4 are huge. It just feels like a good idea to fill it with like kind of set dressing and then just putting like a singular build in here. This one is technically a gym lot. It actually looks like really cool. Like when you go in, you've got the treadmills and stuff. You've got the TVs on the screen. Oh, we got the rock climbing walls. We got all sorts. Looks a bit like like a, I don't know, like a dingy nightclub, like a grinder quickie club <laughs> with the dark rooms. Love that. Not that I've ever been to one of those guys. I'm not a slag. Those clubs with the dark
dark rooms, guys. Like they're just gonorrhea centers. Do you know what I mean? You don't want gonorrhea. You don't want white stringy bits coming out in your piss. I'm sorry if, um, I'm sorry if you thought this was a family friendly video. <laughs> so here we've got a community. It's a generic lot, but it's like a community little like allotments. See, again, I love this. Why can't we own allotments in The Sims 4? This makes me want The Sims 4 to be better. And that's why I like this saves file. It makes me want The Sims 4 to be totally different. And you could do all your gardening here. Love that. So this is one of the cute houses among many in New Crest. So again, like it looks quite shabby. I really like it. Oh, look, we've got a Christmas tree. Oh my God, that's so cute. Do you know what? I'm finding like snow everywhere. I feel like this was made like in winter, but I've just ruined it by making it summer. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. I feel like with this whole save file, it comes with so much, like it makes the game feel fun because it actually makes it easy to know what to do. I think the problem with The Sims 4, okay, firstly, the problem is all the loading screens. Secondly, because everything's quite disjointed amongst so many different packs, is I feel like it's difficult to know what to do because like in The Sims 4, okay, there's no restaurant in any world even if you own Die Now. In The Sims 3, if for example, you own the Ambitions Pack, which came with a firefighter station, every single Sims 3 world would populate with a firefighter station if you own that pack. So like there was always cross pack things to do right from the offset. Whereas in The Sims 4, you've got to set it all up and it's so exhausting. This is why I think save files are so good. This is a lovely little restaurant. I really like this. And look, they've even done the ceiling. So you can tell it's a recent one because that came in the horse ranch update. And what is, this is like a set, is this like a separate restaurant? It is. It looks, oh my God, it looks so dingy. I feel like I'd be offered crack in here. <laughs> Not that I'd ever take it. Not that I ever have guys. Not that I ever will. Oh my God, look, and they've put a Chinese food stall in here. So it's like an actual restaurant. Like you can get food from the food stall. <gasps> That's such a good idea. This here in the Magnolia Promenade World says coming soon. Oh, they, this one here says coming soon as well. Does that mean they haven't finished it yet? I think it does. Oh, coming soon. Although this is a sunset skating rink. Guys, we're going ice skating. It, honestly, I feel like I'm in the 90s. Do you know what I mean? We've even got, is this another restaurant? It is. See, I wish we've dined out that like you can have restaurants anywhere like you could in The Sims 2. And then upstairs, we've got a full on like arcade room with the little toys and things that you get with the tokens. And we've got the booth where you woohoo in. I love it. It literally looks amazing. So they haven't done every single world. I believe they're planning to, but a lot of them are still empty. But let's be brutally honest, guys, no matter how many packs you own, all of you basic bitches love to live in Willow Creek. I know you do. You live in Willow Creek. You give your Sims a basic bitch lifestyle with their basic bitch business job. Don't tell me you don't because I know you do. <laughs> so this is like a Willow Creek and New Crest mostly completed. If you don't own every single pack, by the way, if you download a save file, like this that's quite pack heavy. Once you download it and open your game, you have to basically restart. I believe you restart your PC, open up the game again, and all of the items that were supposed to be there from packs will be substituted from packs that you do own or even just the base game. So technically every save file is base game compatible. Also, apparently every single household has been like done properly with stories and stuff and they've got jobs and things. So here we go. Oh, look, we're going in winter. Okay. Okay. It seems like this save file is in winter. That's why it was looking a bit weird maybe before. But you can see like this bloke has a job. He's a professional painter. He's got different kinds of skills. She, yeah, she's got skills as well. So they, they're like all lived households and they all feel like they've got something going for them. Genuinely love it. And there's like pets in this house as well. I love winter. I love Christmas. Honestly, I'm such a crybaby. For those who don't like, if you want to know the such behind the scenes, I'm a really fragile person. <laughs> Like I admit, I am fragile. I'm not hard at all. Start a fight with me. I'll just stand there and take it. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't deal with it. Like when I see snow, it makes me want to cry. Like it genuinely makes me want to cry. It makes me emotional thinking about like how beautiful and happy the snow is. And like when it snows outside in real life, this is really embarrassing. But like it genuinely brings like a tear to my eye. Like it makes me really happy. Again, like call me a homophobic slur if you want to, but that's just me. Also, I know you vanilla white picket fence basic bitches want to see Willow Creek. So we're going. The big park has been changed into a public pool. Here we go. Oh, look, it's snowing. <laughs> we're going to an outdoor pool in the snow. Lovely. Oh, there's, it's a bit jubby here. Looks like the real life pool that 
I go to sinks of mold. And we've got like, see, I like that it's like trashy because it's so realistic when it looks trashy. Do you know what I mean? The trashier it is, the more realistic it is. Although I wouldn't want to get in there in winter. Although the game lets you swim laps, even though it's too cold to do this. Is this like an error with the coding? They forgot to code it in properly. Look at that, we're swimming laps. I hope we don't kill her off by accident. There's also a veterinary clinic here. So it is compatible with cats and dogs. Look at that, we've got like full on vets. This is so cute, I love it. She's broke, oh my God, she's broken into the vets. What's your name, Kirsten Neville? Kirsten Neville, you've broken into the veterinary clinic and now you're chatting to people on Omegle on the little laptop. <laughs> Nobody gave you permission to do that, madam. Like, but these, okay, these little lights in the street, I promise you, I swear they weren't there before. I feel like this is something done with the tool mod. The world just feels, okay, snow aside, because I love the snow, it just feels a lot prettier. Do you know what I mean? Okay, something really cool here that I love. This is a rental lot, okay? But it's got like the spooky lot trait to it, which is really cool. So you can live in like a, well, you can't live, but you can rent out a haunted house to live in, which I think is a really genius idea idea like renting out this creepy haunted house. I think that's genius. This is a library lot in the world as well. It's like a, again, it's like a proper full on library. Oh look, it's even got like a kids play center. This entire safer honestly makes me wish The Sims 4 was better than it actually is. When I see stuff like this, I think, oh, I wish The Sims 4 like genuinely had all this stuff in it, like canon. I feel like EA genuinely need to update the base game of The Sims 4 because obviously over time, did you know, by the way, when The Sims first came out we didn't even have swimming pools so you'll see no swimming pools in any of the basic in worlds we didn't have toddlers which is why there are no toddlers present in any household in the world there's not even like kids or teens really it's a bit bizarre i just feel like they need to update the basic game worlds obviously they probably wouldn't be able to do it as elaborate and as cool as this but i feel like it would just be a good idea to have like an official update to the sims 4 worlds do you know what i mean i feel like they can get some sims content creators or something on board to do it so obviously Obviously it's still a work in progress one, but like as it is now, I would 100% say it's still usable and livable. And as I said before, if you don't own all the packs, it doesn't matter because they will just replace it with the things that you do own. To reiterate for the trolls in the comments, where's the download link? You didn't put the download link, okay? Winbrook Safar 2.0. Okay, I just Googled Sims 4 Winbrook Safar and it's literally the first thing that comes up. So if you enjoy Sims 4 Safar tours, I think you should check out one of these two videos here too, because these are both incredible save files as well. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.